G'day my friends, Marty Way here from martysgarden.com.au Now if I got a funky, super awesome show for you today because I'm celebrating one year being on this property here where I've moved from the far north coast of New South Wales down to the mid north coast and I've been here a bit over two years but I've been farming worms seriously like moving up from a hobby slowly into a profession now and really getting into it. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit and share some tips and tricks and things along the way. There's going to be three parts in the tutorials. The first part is I've got a can of worms and I've let it sit way too long on the bottom tier and so these castings are worked over like no tomorrow and I want to show you something. This is really, really cool. And you'll be surprised at how they look once they've been just worked over and worked over. And oh, oh, Anyway, stay tuned for that, guys. And the next one coming up, the next part, I've got a cutting from a tomato. It's a black cherry tomato. And I've taken a lateral shoot and I'm growing it in worm castings. So I'll talk about that and give you a bit of an idea on how I'm doing that and pulling that off. And then we go into a Q&A at the end, guys, where I answer one of the subscriber questions. It's to do with worms and it's a little bit spicy. Watch the show to find out more, guys. Marty's Garden is all about compost worms, composting, farming worms indoors and out, and growing some of the most awesome food around. You can learn how by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Welcome world to the Marty's Garden Show. So before we get started, I've just got to drop off these microgreens. Delivery for Bonnie Hills Garden Cafe, fishing extravaganza, restaurateur, chef man. Fisherman slash. What's the one, bro? I've got you coriander here, as you can see. An absolute legend. Check it. And there's there's lots of seeds still coming up in there, Beautiful. so you can see they haven't dropped all the heads yet. So there's still some Dropping coming up growth. and going that through. That is beautiful. Can you use that? Absolutely, man. How's your day? Good. So keep an eye on the story for at Nathan's Cafe at Bonnie Hills because we're going to be processing all the food coming out of there and composting it and turning it into worm castings and then putting it back through his garden to grow amazing food for his cafe. So keep an eye open for the story for that. Now, coming up next... Who would have thought that it's been nearly a year, well, or maybe a year, I haven't been counting the exact days, since I decided to go into worm farming and really take it on. I'm getting amazing results. I started with 1,000 worms bought from a local shop, and then, you know, I bred up to about three or 4,000, and I was lucky enough to get around about 10,000 dropped off to me. And over time, I've just been building up the numbers and numbers. And I've got absolutely hundreds of thousands now, if we can count them in all the worm farms, and especially the windrows outside, because I've got some serious numbers going on out there. So things are growing really, really great. Worm cast putty. So here we got the can of worms. Now, I've already taken the top tray out and uh, let the worms sort of hide a bit. And I've actually gone and left this way too long. And I started making this casting spore. Look, see the worms in there? And that's a string there from an old Hessian bag. They didn't eat that. And so you can see I can just crush up these castings and just make a big worm ball, just like some putty. Look, look at that, look, look at that. And it's amazing that they left that string there I'll have to throw that into the bin so you can see the worms through the material. And look, it just goes like Play-Doh or putty. And I just absolutely love this. Look at this. This is so cool. So cool. This is what happens when you leave it too long. You end up with pretty much pure worm castings and it will shape just like that and your plants will absolutely love it now i better come back and get that later because car and i got up early to shoot this shot for brekkie striking tomato laterals in worm cast 
What we are looking at here is my black cherry tomato mother plant. It's only about six weeks old and at this age it's perfect for taking lateral cuttings. And this is what you look for, shoots that are coming out right where the leaf has formed. This one needs to grow a lot more before it's ready, about three times the length of what you can see now. This is my first three tomato cuttings and they're growing in my window which gets the morning sun which is perfect for cuttings and I give them a little spray every now and again just to keep the humidity around them. They've got a little water tray down below and they're growing in vermiculite, sifted compost and worm castings and look at the amazing root system that I'm starting to get down below. So here are my little babies guys and I've got a thermometer down in here just to keep an eye on the temperatures. Not that it's really needed, but it's, you know, it's a bit of fun knowing what temperatures they're growing in and what they're getting in the mornings on the window there. Now, what I've done is, when I've taken the cutting, I've actually cut an angle on the stem, so that way when it goes in, there's more surface area going into the medium, which is worm cast, vermiculite, and compost, which has all been sifted, it's all nice and fine, and they're growing really, really well. Now, what they're doing is they're searching for the food around in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pot them up into other pots and grow them that way. Now, what you want to do with tomatoes is get a nice long root as long as possible. And that way you can get it down deep into the soil profile. If you use a short pot for something like this, not really suitable. A nice long deep pot. If you can't get these long narrow ones like this, just get something that's a bit wider it just means that, you know, you're going to have to use a bit more compost to get them growing. But you can grow them organically. And as you're seeing here, I'm pulling it off. Now, what's happening is there's some little flowers because it's a cutting. There's some little flowers in here and that's taking a lot of energy away from the plant. So I removed those and there was a little sucker there as well. It was just coming out of the side root, side leaf there. I removed that as well to take away and just keep the vertical growth. These are a determinate plant so it's going to grow longer and longer and throw out laterals and throw out fruits over time and I'm going to grow them in pots in my organic medium and show you how they're going in future shows. It's today's subscriber question. So today's subscriber question is an awesome one, a little bit funny actually because I know that this has affected me many times but I don't think it will affect worms but anyway Listen to the answer, and then I've got a really cool, funny story for you at the end of this. So the question is, can you feed your compost worms chili, and will it hurt them? Well, the answer is no, my friend, because it only affects mammals. And it says in Wikipedia here that it's probably producing the capsaicinoids to deter against mammals. So I looked that up in there and thought mm, yeah that's pretty interesting and so how I discovered that was I thought everyone and everything got affected by really hot chilies and I had these special birds that come out of the forest and they used to get in my microgreens they scratch everything up they're like a big type of big wild chicken almost uh, they're called a brush turkey here in Australia and they're just an absolute menace and they would destroy a hundred dollars worth of my crops in about 30 seconds like that and I was continually fighting against getting them away because they're protected. You can't hurt these birds, right? So I thought, I'm going to get them. I'm going to put chili powder in with their feed. So I'm going to give them the chicken feed because they're always trying to get in the chicken pen. And the chickens would fight with them and stuff like that. <laughs> anyway, I put some out. Next minute, there's about six of them going pop, 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 pop. And Cara and I are looking going, oh, they're going to start burning. Their mouths are going to get on fire in a minute. And pop, 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 pop. Ate the whole lot. No problem, chili powder didn't affect them one bit when I looked it up online. <laughs> Only affects mammals. So go figure, eh? Anyway, listen, I'm Marty Ware from Marty's Garden. If you like that video, you got any questions regarding any topic from the show, if you've ever fed your worms, capsicum or you know, chilies or anything similar to that, let me know down below. I look forward to answering your questions. I answer them all myself personally. And I am here to create more videos. Head over to Marty's Garden. More content over there on the newsletter. Comes out every Monday for free. Lots of cool stuff going on always on my channel. Have a great day. Happy
happy gardening. We'll see you at the next video real soon. Bye for now.